In this video, let's look at some basic organization features that you can use while you're editing a count sheet. If your count sheet is organized by auto by category, the sections will match the categories in margin edge and products are organized alphabetically within them. When you're in sheet to shelf mode, you have more flexibility and control. You can create sections, rename them and move them around. To add a section, click the add section button. Give it a name and the new section will be added to the bottom of the count sheet. We'll create a new section now called beverages. You'll see controls next to a section header that allow you to move a section up or down. So for example, if we want to move our new beverage section up higher on the count sheet, we simply hit the up arrow and now beverages are above the liquor section. If you want to resort the items in a section alphabetically, you can hit the A to Z button. Here we'll alphabetize the products in our beer draft section. If you want to delete a section entirely, you can click the red delete button. In terms of moving products around, there are a few convenient ways to do this. You can always drag and drop a product by clicking and dragging it to a different place. Additionally, on the right side of the line of each row, I have controls to allow me to move products up or down. You can also use the numbers to quickly rearrange. For example, if I want to move my blue moon keg to the number one spot in the section, I can just type one, then hit tab or enter, and it moves to the top of the section. If you want to move a product to a different section, the fastest way to do this is with the button on the right with the crosshairs on it. If you click on this button, you can move a product quickly to a new section. For example, here I'll click on it to move Jim Beam to the liquor section. If you want to delete an item that you don't count, simply click on the red button on the right side of the row. You'll be asked to confirm, and if you're sure, hit OK. That product will then be removed from your inventory. This will not delete the product from the system. Deleting simply removes it from this particular count sheet. After you've done any editing of your count sheet, don't forget to scroll to the bottom of the page and hit the Save button to make sure you don't lose your work. Next, we'll talk about managing products, adding new products to count sheets, how that's done automatically, and how you can do that on your own.